Keep pedaling, Gabriel. You're doing a great job. Great job. Keep pedaling. Bike ride. Yes, this is beautiful. You got it. Our old stomping ground. Our old stomping ground. This is beautiful. But I can't keep up. They're making me ride so slow. I told you to go ahead. <laughs> I know, but Michael, he can play. Oh, you're alive in there. Yeah. Riding. You are riding, big guy. This is awesome. So yeah, we're back on our old trail. It's it's a nice trail because there's nice little routes you can go on. It's pretty flat and the boys can actually pedal their bikes. I'm actually on my rollerblades doing it old school style. So it's been beautiful. We're just trying to get some exercise, trying to stay active. And it's been awesome. Come on. Looking at our old place we used to live at. You know, where if I wore the broke and I brought this little munchkin home. They're gonna make me crash, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel, keep pedaling. Y'all ready to turn back around and go to the shaded area? Or y'all wanna keep riding? I don't know, these little like new age kids. They've been out here for five minutes and they're like, oh, we're ready to go home. <laughs> Let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what are you doing? Michael, you remember? No, no don't, no, don't no. stand up. Stand up. Remember we, we slid down Just here? Run down, run down. Run, run, run. We sled, we used to sled down here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we have sled. Yep, you did too. You this were a little munchkin. Looks so pretty out. About to watch one of our favorite YouTubers, Mark Weens. He does all these not our traveling, favorite. traveling adventures. It's one of my no, favorites. I literally just found him like this past week, or when was it? I don't know. I found him and I've just been hooked because we used to watch Bizarre Foods with like Andrew Zimmerman, and I'm like, yes, some culture, some different foods, because this American diet. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got some Jimmy John's, <laughs> little Joe. I gel. mean, I know. I'm just talking about like different ethnic, different ethnic stuff food. that's clean. Cause if it ain't clean, of course. But <laughs> yeah. So we're back from our bike ride, and it is been a beautiful day. Katia is gonna be cooking up a homemade Ethiopian meal at Casa de Barrette or Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> Casa de Barret. Barret. <laughs> we got our own tour. So hopefully we can show you all that and you'll see the deliciousness. Yeah. About to start on this five hour process. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ethiopian because meals. Because Ethiopian food uh, takes a long time. It's made with love. Yeah, but I made, I'm. this is my Anjara mixture. It's been fermenting for about three days. It is how it is. I don't know why Paul keeps laughing. Because it gives you the timeline. <laughs> this is fresh on jar, right? Yeah, it's made fermenting. with teff flour. It's the finest grain in the world or something like that. So you can use this Bob's Red Mill. I'm sure there's other teff like stuff you can buy, probably online. But this is what they have at like the Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Just pour some top off and then add a little bit of water. You want it to be like pancake kind of consistency. It's kind of like you're making a crepe, but it's, it's in between pancake and a crepe consistency. Okay, so 
没脏着啊。You know, got a couple of these, but see, look at it there. Mm hmm. They started breaking on me. I don't know what was going on. My very first one, it's like perfect. So, when all else fails when trying to make Andrara, find an Ethiopian restaurant to go buy some Andrara from. That's where we're going. While Paul is trying to wrangle these kids up, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the Miserwat, which is like a red lentil stew. I am using a pound of the Bob's Red Mill red lentils. I have already drained my lentils, filled them up in a bulb, added water, drained them so they're nice and clean. And let's see what else we got up in here. Can I get it open? I have my onions, rosemary, garlic. On the bottom of here is all of my tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into a pressure cooker. Boom. Because it cooks it super easy. Do you guys want a baby brother or a baby sister? A baby sister. Oh. Y'all y'all think sister. mommy and daddy should have a, a baby sister? Yes. Uh, why? Because we want Are y'all mature enough? I told y'all yes. y'all gotta grow up some. Yes. How are you mature enough? Um, I can, I can, um, um, give the baby, um, her, her milk. Okay. Gabriel, how are you mature enough? Do you have responsibility, Gabriel? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna help, Gabriel? I put it in. We're gonna get ice cream. We're not going to get ice cream, but you gotta help. We're gonna get the soap done. I don't know. They, 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 want, they want a sibling. I told them they have to grow up, both of them. They both got to do a better job. They They're need to be, be the mature. Brothers. <laughs> yeah, they got to be mature. <laughs> yes, you, you yeah. do okay helping your brother, but you got to help out. You got responsibilities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah. I told them they need to, they need to pray to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> that's the only way that's going to happen. <laughs> Got the lecture. <laughs> I don't think this one is pure tef, she said. Oh, okay. She said we have to call in advance to get that one. That's fine. You had to make the trip worth your while? Yes, you know, you, you drive 30 minutes to the city, you gotta, you gotta take it all. Secret ingredient to Ethiopian dishes to the bear. The signature ingredient, not secret. <laughs> it is signature. This is uh, what is it? Red lentils. We're making a uh, a stew. I think it's called Miserwat. Some kind of wat. <laughs> Some kind of wat. <laughs> Good ingredient. It's the signature ingredient. It's no secret. The bear. Look at that, all that spice. It's like a blended spice. I don't know what it is, but it's a blend. The lentils are in, the spices are in. Got all the water. Yep. Ready to roll. Ready to roll it. We got jalapenos. We got the onions and tomatoes. Those are like staples in the Ethiopian dishes and now we're just sauteing them. Yep. It's got also ginger in here, garlic, fresh rosemary, add that in there, as well as turmeric. That's and saute, now we add in the other veggies. Back into the pan. We're gonna add some turmeric. 
smell the aroma. Somebody has used all the turmeric. <laughs> all my home remedies. Got to make some ginger juice or ginger concoction. Yeah. That That's another been, home remedy. Yeah, it's been helping like clear mucus, helping lip notes. She's in the garden getting some fresh kale for our other dish. Going grocery shopping. <laughs> Definitely going grocery shopping. Right in here. She got her basket over here. Snipping off some leaves. Tia went shopping. This looks amazing right here. All organic. Yep. Do you remember what kind of collards and stuff? It's kale. Oh, kale. Sorry. It's Red Russian and um, La Siento. Red yeah. Russian? Is Red or Russian? Like dinosaur. Yeah, Red Russian dinosaur. Dinosaur kale. kale. I mean, you, you can do collards for this recipe, but you can use any kind of like green leafy vegetable and sips. For some reason the stores are not carrying collards using my kale, but I know I'm gonna plant some collards for fall. Fall. <laughs> yep. Tia's cutting up the greens. Nice and fine. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna what? Saute them down? Yep, they will saute them. Look at that fresh little stalk right there. Man. Looks good. What is it called, Katia? Goldman Watt, but it's like collard greens. I mean, like I said, you can use any greens, really. Any green leafy stuff. But adding. first you gotta do what? Saute the onions, I'm adding in now the garlic. Just saute it down. I Using some of the oil like that, that I used from the first dish. So it has a little more flavor in there. Lots of onions. We need, we need some vino. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be good, but bad. But at least we we're not eating any meat. This is a vegan meal. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. I've seen some recipes where they've used tomatoes, so I decided to give it a try. I haven't done it with tomatoes before. I've done it with just the regular collards and the garlic and the onions, but we'll see how it comes out. I chopped, like, these are like two Roma tomatoes that are chopped up really fine. The greens. Yeah, got my greens in here. Oh man, the aroma is so, so strong. Yeah, I'm sliding these windows open. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of spice in our house. Stuff gets stuck in the house. The fire alarm went off, but it was a steam, but I came downstairs and I started coughing because of spice. I can still I can still feel it in my nose. The final product. I'm tired. I told you five hours later. Hey, it's about to be worth it. <laughs> Look at that. You can, man. If you can only smell this. So this is called Anjara, which we, I think we've already said that. But. Yeah, this is. The ones that are cut on the side, you know, are the ones that I made out of 100% teff. Yeah, and these ones are and then the ones things that on, blend. On the um, plate is like the ones we got from the restaurant. Yeah. I didn't have enough to begin with. It's about to go down. <laughs>